What's going on guys, Way From Revolution here, here to talk to you about the new 2021 Tudor Black Bay Chrono, which, okay, the first thing we need to talk about is the price of this watch. This watch is 5,221 US dollars on a steel bracelet. I've got the strap version on me. Uh, and incidentally, if you ever want to buy any Tudor watch, I would always suggest if it comes on a bracelet, buy it on the bracelet because it's only like a $200 premium and the bracelets are so well made. So I've been wearing this watch for the last, I don't know, week or so since it was launched and I wanted to give you my reflections on it. So the first time that Tudor came out with a Black Bay Chrono that came out in 2017, came out in the bimetallic one, the uh, steel and gold, and it came out with a very, very collectible watch afterwards, which was the dark version of it, right? Um, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the number of overall watches will be based on the number of caps for the New Zealand All Black. So it's a, it's, it's a hard watch to acquire, but it's a great watch. But that watch was really cool. It had a, a steel or gold engraved bezel, depending on which uh, metal that you bought it in. Um, and it was a really cool watch, which was also a great value proposition. But the big news for this year is that they facelifted this watch. And I have to say, it looks even cooler. And what I like about it is that you have, at the same time, you've got some great retro theme kind of styling cues, like an aluminum bezel um, with its tachymeter engraved on it, with these beautiful applied dots to it. And of course, you've got the snowflake hour hand and the, the long uh, sword shaped minute hand. But it just is a great overall watch. Um, Okay, I will say that uh, at slightly over 14 mm in terms of thickness, it's not the thinnest watch in the world. That is because it's using the MT5813, uh, which is a cost certified vertical clutch column wheel movement, which is actually a movement that they make in collaboration with Breitling. Right? Um, but the interesting thing related to this watch is that this watch is 5,000 US dollars, which is an incredible value proposition for what it is. Uh, in terms of the styling of the watch, you know what? It's super handsome, it's rugged, it's engaging, it's got a boxed sapphire crystal, which means it's dome shaped to sort of like reference an old plexiglass um, a crystal. It's got screw down pushers, uh, and like I said, it's just a great looking watch. So the thing that I think is really interesting about Tudor today is that it's occupying this incredible like entry point for watches, right? So whether you're talking about a, a Black Bay diving watch, um, my favorite being the Black Bay 58 because it's slightly smaller and I think proportionally it's beautiful and it comes in both navy and a black dial. But now this watch as well, the Black Bay Chrono, is like the best point of entry if you want to get into chronographs because the movement you're getting inside of this watch is superb in terms of its functionalities, right? As I said, vertical clutch, which means you can leave it running as long as you want and it doesn't affect the overall uh, timing amplitude of the balance wheel. Uh, and um, it also eliminates the jumping of the seconds hand when you start and stop the uh, chronograph. So what else can I tell you? It's a great launch from Tudor. Um, it comes in this, the Panda dial, but it also comes in a reverse Panda, which is black with white subdials. And I think it's cool, right? Check it out.